Well, I'm not sure where it goes, but it goes somewhere, right? Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Bikepacking Dad's YouTube channel. Coming to you live from my morning commute in Scotland. The sun's not really out, but it doesn't matter. It's plenty warm enough. But the reason for this video, spring's here. Some of you might be thinking about dusting the bike off for a few commutes to work, try and get a few miles in. So I'm gonna share with you my top five reasons and motivations for commuting by bike, because we've all felt like this. I'll do it tomorrow. However, the plan is these five little tips, reasons, motivations, whatever you want to call them. Hopefully, if you can get these in your head, a little bit of motivation to throw your legs out the bed, climb on the bike. So without further ado, let me tell you what they are. Well, let's get into it. My five reasons for commuting by bike, right here. Number one, okay, your general well-being, whether it's uh, physically or mentally. Number two, the route variation. Number three, the sights and sounds, but don't worry, I'll explain that one. Number four, your general fitness. And number five, let's save some money and help save the planet. So I think it's fair to say that these are real world reasons. I've not picked five reasons from someone else's video or some online article I've read. These are things I really experienced. So hopefully as we go through them, you can take a, you can have a little bit of confidence, should I say, in what I'm saying, because it works for me. So hopefully it can help you out as well. But for now, I'm gonna head to work and I will see you when I get home from the comfort of my front room with a cup of tea. I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm back home. Work is done. Swapped my cup of tea out for a healthy glass of water, so well done me. And let's get straight into it. Point one, your general well-being. And I've split it up into physically and mentally. Now, I'm no scientist, but for me, getting out of bed sucks, okay? I like my bed, I like my sleep, I like being warm and cosy. If you can get over the hard bit, put your clothes on, have a little bit of breakfast, get a glass of water into you to wake your body up and go and get on the bike. Yes, in the bad weather, the first five minutes is a bit cold and the legs are heavy, but after that, you're golden, you're away. Blood gets pumping, you start warming up, you can enjoy your bike ride to work. So physically, I'm feeling good. And when I'm physically feeling good, I'm mentally feeling good because the two go side by side for me. If I'm out there and I'm working my body, whether I'm, you could be working to lose a bit of weight. You could be working to just get fitter on the bike. You could be working because you've got a little competition with people at work on how many active minutes you do in a week. It doesn't matter what it is, but if you're out there and you are working your body, for me, it does something for my mind and I feel better about myself. By the time I get to work, I'm awake, I'm pretty happy, and I'm good to go for the rest of the day. So point one, your general well-being. It'll do something for you. The hardest bit, it's getting out of your warm, cosy bed. You can do it. So straight into point number two, the route variation. I only live two and a half miles away from my work. I can go out front door and roll straight down the road to work and I'm there in about five minutes because it's mostly downhill. However, within about a 15 mile radius of my house, yes, okay, I know a lot of the, the little back roads and the cycle routes and things, but that's because I've been out exploring, which everyone can do. I've got five mile routes, I've got 10 mile routes, 15, 20, all the way up to a nice 30 mile route if I really want to and I want to drag myself out of bed nice and early in the summer. It's all there, it's all right on your doorstep. Use things like Kamut, and I'll put a link to Kamut down in the description. Um, I'll also put a link to an article on that, I've that I've done on the blog for how to plan routes on Kamut because it can be a bit tricky at the start. So that's all down below, so go and check it out. But the point I'm trying to make is, when the weather's good, get up a little bit earlier, add a few miles, get out there and see some sights and ride some trails and roads that you've not seen. It's great. And then when the weather's really, 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 really bad and it's absolutely tipping it down, you definitely don't wanna ride your bike, throw your waterproofs on, do the two and a half miles straight down the road and get to work. Yeah, when it's nice, do a bit more. When it's terrible, straight to work, please. We're at the midpoint, point number three. And point number three is the sights and sounds. Now, I said I'd explain it because it sounds a little bit wishy-washy, and I get that. But sights and sounds of things you see when you're out and about on the bike are completely different because you are getting sights and sounds that you would never, 
ever, ever hear or see if you're sitting in the car or the bus or whatever motor transport you might take to work. I get to see loads of different sights and sounds because, like I said, I've got five mile loops, 10 mile loops, 20 mile loops. Some are gravel, some are road, some are little cycle paths. Get out there, see what's there. You might think, I've lived in this house for 20 years, I know everywhere around me. I promise if you get stuck into that kind of route variation stuff that I put down in the description, you're going to find little trails you've never even been on. So head out, ride your bike, and it's different each time of year. In the winter, yes, it might be cold and dark, but that adds to the experience. You're riding with your lights on, you see things different, you're riding a bit slower usually. And then the spring comes around and all the trees start coming out and you get the animals being born and the sheep and all the cows shouting at you as you ride by. And then the summer's just glorious. You get light mornings, really light evenings. All of a sudden I find myself doing 15, 20 miles to work and trying to squeeze in 15, 20 miles home if I don't have to be back for the kids. So yeah, um, sights and sounds, definitely a bonus. There's more out there than you think and it changes based on the time of year. So it's an absolute win. Give it a go. Okay, now the big one for me is point number four. And this is kind of why I started commuting in the first place, if I'm being honest. I used to really be into my road cycling and if I still had the time, I still would be. I love getting out on the fancy bike. Cue a little picture somewhere up here or up here, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I love getting out on my fancy bike and eating up the road. And I feel pretty quick on it. Yes, it could be the fancy bike, but it could also be the fact that I ride my bike to and from work because there's nothing better than time on the bike for your fitness. You might have a turbo trainer like I used to have and you get your zone two training in and you do your intervals at zone four and your sprints at zone five. But if you don't have any of that, you can just ride to work. Put a few little digs in on some of the climbs, maybe on the flat. Let's try two, three minute efforts with the backpack on. You're carrying a bit of extra weight. Your legs are going to thank you for it. Not just your legs your heart, your lungs, you know how it goes, general fitness, right? I had a friend who, how do I put it? He was a semi-pro cyclist and he's still a very strong cyclist. And he said early doors, there's nothing better than just time on the bike to get fitness into your legs. And he's 100% right. If any of you follow the World Tour and you watch the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia and things like this, a lot of these pros now are just doing massive zone two blocks with a few efforts in. And it's clearly working because they're absolute animals. So whether you're working towards the tour or whether you're working to lose a bit of weight or you're working to try and take that late local KOM, get on the bike, put some time in, your legs will thank you for it. And then if you do have a nice road bike like me and you jump on it in the summer, you might steal a few Strava segments. And number five, and this is going to sound maybe a little bit like I'm preaching, but I'm not. Yes, I care about the environment, but probably as much as the next guy, to be honest. I do my bit. We do the recycling. We drop down to one car, but I'll be honest, that was kind of down to a money issue when we had the kids and we could do with saving a few pennies. But when the car went away, I got on the cycle to work scheme and bought myself my gravel bike. Cue a picture here or here again. I haven't decided. But yeah, treated myself to a nice gravel bike. Yeah, I'm saving money. We got rid of a car, so there goes a monthly payment. We're not putting fuel in it. I'm not paying road tax on it. I'm not paying insurance on it. And I'm also saving the planet, right? Because I'm not running any fuel. Yes, and I know some people say, you could get an electric car, Jack. I get that, I get that, but I can't afford one. So there's me on my bike. Winter, summer, spring, autumn, you get the idea. So I'm saving money and yes, I'm a drop of water in the ocean when it comes to what I'm doing for the planet on the grand scheme of things. I get that. But yeah, it's like Tesco say, right? Every little helps. Why not? So I'm doing my bit, saving the planet, mostly saving us some money. It can be done. If you've got two cars and one of them's barely used and you only live a few miles away from your work, have a think about it because I'd rather be putting three, four hundred pounds a month away towards a family holiday than putting it into a car that's sitting on my drive three, four days a week. You can go out, you can spend two or three grand on a bike, pay it off, and then all of a sudden you've got a family holiday to look forward to, your fitness is improving, and yes, saving the planet. Right, that's my five reasons. They've all worked for me. I hope that some of what I said has made sense and can give you a little bit of motivation to get out there and commute on your bike. One tip I would say, if you're gonna try this and go all year round or 
go all in and maybe you are going to get rid of a car, treat yourself to a bike that's, yeah, treat yourself to a nice bike, right? Get the right gear, yeah? Be comfortable on the bike, have the right gear for all the weathers because if you're not comfortable and the bike's not very good and you're freezing on the bike and things like this, you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to throw your legs out of the bed and you're not going to do it day after day. So set yourself up right, you'll be golden. Right, I'm going to clear off because tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to commute to work. So have a great day, evening, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.